in our last class we've done the cutting where we have the front the back and the band and this is our caterpillar zip we have the slit at the, the right hand side of the front block so we're going to be doing the same today quickly let's move on <laughs> going to do is to bring out the measurement so i'm going to shaping it out on the back bodies and i'll place the front to bring out the shape from the sides we have the waist measurement of 26 and 26 divided by 2 is 13 inches here i have 15 inches so we have two inches excess that means we're going to have one inch and one inch we have the hip measurement of 34 inches so 34 divided by 2 is 17 inches here i have 19 inches that means i have two inches excess so i have one inch and one inch as well it's a pencil skirt so since the hip is 17 inches the base of the skirt it's going to be 16 inches and all together I have 18 inches so that means we have 2 inches excess so I have 1 inch and 1 inch to hold as well now I'm going to bring the front bringing the two sides together And I'm going to join so I'm going to join one side first and I'll bring the other side together as well to join together The next thing I'm going to do is to attach the band from one side of the front. I'm going to attach it around to the waist of the skirt. So just this way. It's folded. The band is folded into two. So all I'm just going to do is to join it. I'm going to join it to the edge. And this is what I'm going to have. So let's do that. Okay, having done that, we've attached the band to the waist of our skirt. The next thing we're going to do is to fix our zip. So there's a need for us to weave the inside of our skirt before attaching the zip. You can always weave that before fixing the zip to the skirt. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to measure the slits. And the slits are the base of our skirt. Depends on you actually. But for me, I'm going to measure just nine inches i'm going to measure nine inches and my zip is going to start from the base of the zip is starting from there that's nine inches this is the base of the zip so it's going to stop there it's going to stop at that 9 inches. Remember, we had it 1.5 inches. So I'm going to fold the 1.5 inches now. And I'll place, place my fabric on the sleeve. And I'll join it with that. Right. 
is my 1.5 inches. And the base of a zip, 1.5 inches. So the zip is going to stop here. So I'm going to attach the zip now. Having fit the zip, the next thing we're going to do is to tuck in our slit. So I'm just going to fold it in and stitch on it. The same thing on the other side. Remember to, to whip the edges of your fabric before folding in. Now the last thing to do is to fold in the base of the skirt and we are done sewing our skirts. Overfolding with two, two inches. The base of your skirt can be hemmed either by the hemming gum or using the, your needle and thread in order to have a neat hedge. So that's the end of our sewing. I'll switch the front and the back. Thanks for watching Carrie's Tutorials. If you enjoyed the class, click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the notification button as well in order to get notification for our new posts. I remain Simeon Grace. You can follow us on Facebook and on Instagram at Africa TV, And you can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram at Carrie's Creation. Till I see you next class. Bye.